All right, the map is USA 48, and we're this green dot right here. Hello, that's us. Greetings and hello. Let's see what we can do here. Let's see if we have a nice little match. How's our spawn point? It's decent. I've got this little area of Canada to myself up here. But after that, we're going to be immediately boxed in by one, two, like three or four players. This guy's boating their way into my area as well. Not great. I guarantee you somebody across the board, yeah, like these guys got better spawns. I still love spawning in the middle of the map too often because, well, sometimes you'll get a good early start, but then you get ganged up on pretty severely. But, well, maybe we should be starting over there because spawning in the corners is not working. I don't know what it is about USA 48 today, but I am struggling to get a USA 48 win on either of the free-for-all modes. I've tried both. Just every other map I've been doing today, crushing it. I, I won like four wins in a row with other maps, but this one, uh, just struggling. Struggling to get these wins. I'll, you only got a few hundred troops. I'll try and get in on that. Get these gains. What's that? Unclaimed pixel. Filthy. Give it. Make our work our way down here before they kind of claw up into our territory too much here. Oh, hello. I do want this. I see you there. Get some of this. Some of this. And, oh, uh, who's looking? Sonia, some of you. Work over there. Try to keep my troops up. How are you doing, troops? Enough that I don't have to worry about you too much. I can take you guys now, I think. Get some of this. You're going to block me in there. What happened to two up here? Oh, there's Mother Russia and Russia are still fighting, which is huge. Because it's giving me the opportunity to, like, get into this myself, which is fantastic for us. Yes, you go to war with each other. That was huge for us. Those two infighting, big gains for us. Big gains for us, because now I can push you out like you're nothing. That's huge. Oh, that was so good for us that you guys went to war. Now I can just, I can just carve you up like you're just bots, really. And uh, have all this for myself. That's fantastic. Don't know why they chose to spawn on top of each other. <laughs> Both of the name Russia. I don't know. But uh worked out great. I will send a little boat up there. We put a truce with you. We chill. Who am I touching? One, two, three players I can go for. Truce there. A few a truce. I think we chill for now. This guy's getting attacked over here, but it's by somebody weaker than them, so we ignore that for now. I think we build up, got the crown, a, a great start. These two, if these two had actually like, if it had just been one person who got all that, I'd not have the crown, but the two of them fighting a bunch, and then me cleaning up, getting all this air for myself and some of this, huge, huge for us, fantastic start. And right now, we save, because the biggest threat we have right now is um, getting ganged up on. And as long as our troops are nice and healthy, that probably won't happen. Truce these players. Maybe I can get them to all attack this person here. I might need to go in on this guy, actually, if I can. They're getting kind of bodied. Get in on this. Let's grab a few of these little islands. Might have sent too many troops there, but it's fine. Get some of this. I'll give you better, better boards than this guy as they get pushed out. There we go. Yeah, get on this person there. That's good. Could have probably attacked a little bit earlier and got more of it, but not bad. I'll take it. Oh, a new crown has arisen. Player 406 is attacking. East India Company is attacking you. East India Company being this guy. They left and became a bot. Not amazing for me, but we'll just have to kind of get some of that. I always feel like the bot's attacking first. I'm probably wrong, but it feels like it. All right, that's not bad for us. Got the crown back. Thankfully, truce with you. Truce with you. Need to chill a bit here. I don't love my options to attack. I've got second and third place next to me, or I can carve my way down into Electric Boogaloo. That's basically my options. I don't love. Which of you two has better expansion opportunities? Mm. I think we go in on SADs because they're busy fighting, and they're going to be weakened from fighting. And I want to control like the eastern seaboard here if I can. I can slowly beat them in, a, in, there in second place. I can slowly beat them in 1v1, especially if these guys want to join in on it. I can get truces with these ones and get them to attack you. Maybe that slows you down. I'm just worried about I go to war with Sads and then this other guy attacks me from behind, which would be bad. I'm slowly winning this war with Sads. Eventually, these other guys might gain in. But the fact that he's sitting on full cap troops tells me they're probably going to wait. I'm surprised this guy's not fighting anybody. I think they're waiting for their moment to attack me, which is going to be a problem. I hope they're sitting on max cap troops. That might be okay for us. I can probably work with that. Just keep working on sads little by little. Getting 60,000 pixels will help. This guy's okay, fantastic. They're not attacking me. As long as I can slowly win the 1v1 with sads down here, that's going to be good for us. Just work them down little by little. If I could get Electric Boogaloo to help, that'd be great, but they don't really seem too inclined. The problem is it can take so long to do it. Giants will form to the west that are going to be a problem for us to deal with. Hmm, I need to break sad spirit. That's what I need to do break sad spirit, get them to like leave and become a bot so I can carve their land faster? Maybe? 
I don't know. Just keep working on them. Because uh, these guys have just like smaller targets to push through and more of them. Keep working on sads here. Electric boogaloos. I mean, it makes sense that they're working on uh, them. It's an easier target for them to gain land from. All right, they're attacking back a little bit more aggressively. That's good. Weak them up a bit more. We're still making some nice gains here. This is good. All right. Put some truces out here with these guys. Give you a thumbs up to attacking them, maybe. Keep working on sads. Put some more truces out here for the future. Still have the crown. And actually, I mean, we're 20,000 pixels above second place, so we're still managing to... Because we played a little bit more risky attacking a little bit sooner than they did, even though we had a tougher target. This guy could easily be, have the crown and be better than me. Wait, no, this guy. Oh, that's huge that this guy's... Yeah, yeah, Get more of them to gang up on them. Slow down their ascent. Increase my ascent over here of gaining troops. That's good. Carve through sads faster and faster and faster, getting more and more. They left and became a bot. That's good. Because now the bot will attack randomly. Ooh, the first attack wasn't on me this time. Fortunate. I don't know why I attacked that person twice in a row. I think it's kind of random. So I feel like most of the time, I eat the first, like, two or three attacks from the bots when somebody leaves. But this time, not so much. Huge value for us. And guess who's next? Electric Boogaloo. It's definitely you, because you did literally nothing to help me <laughs> with them. So I, I owe you nothing. You were a useless alliance. I might as well have never been allied to you at all. Well, I need you to help. You did nothing but watched. So we'll carve through you. Gotta worry about uh, Shaggy um, pretty soon, I think. New Zealand's a good target, too. I like our... Oh, New Zealand's getting attacked by Shaggy? I may as well, might as well get that land from New Zealand, I think. And then deal Shaggy next, perhaps. We're getting to a point where we're getting so big where they might start seeing me as like a really big threat, which I need to be concerned about. This guy's not attacked me yet, and he's probably mad at this guy. So I can probably work on Shaggy in the meantime before they all decide to gang up on me. As long, Yeah, yeah. See, now they're like, I'm lucky that, ooh, this guy left me, came and bought. That's good. They'll start attacking randomly, sometimes me, sometimes them, which is great. There you go. They attacked me, but I barely did any. And uh, when they attack me, I'm hardly noticing if they got so much more troops than them. That's good. They attack them. Nice. I love it when they leave and become bots, because there's a chance they don't just sit there defending up or beating up on you. It's a little more random. There we go. Now we're doing a lot better here. Work on Darnil here, because uh, I just need more land, and these guys are probably... Like, I think at this point, it's going to be an emotional grudge match amongst these three. These three are no longer... I don't think these three are playing to win anymore. They're, they're, they're playing to make sure the person that they're mad at loses. I think that's the situation we're looking at right here. I think that's... Honestly, I might vote for peace with this guy. Like, maybe, maybe this this guy too? Um, I mean, I could... I, I feel like these guys won't let me vote for peace. I feel like this guy's gonna keep attacking that guy because he's mad at them. Um, I don't feel like... Do I, do I owe... Do I owe, owe Russia anything? I wasn't honestly paying enough attention to know if they were helping with the, the fighting and attacking or not. Um... Wait, this guy left and became a bot, so there's no reason to vote for peace with this guy. I'll vote for peace with you because you attacking that guy and distracting them from bothering me made it so much easier for me to win this match. So I'll definitely give you a, a second place right there. And little uh, strong, muscly boy there. Wait for that vote for peace to show up. Where's that? Come on, show me the peace. There it is. You'll love to see it. Smash that like button. Let's go.